Sutra. I fear that deluded people may misunderstand and slander this Dharma door and will cut off their nature which possesses the seed of Buddhahood for hundreds of ages and thousands of lifetimes. Good knowing advisors, I have a verse of no mark which you should all recite. Those at home and those who have left home should cultivate according to it. If you do not cultivate it, memorizing it will be of no use. Listen to my verse. With speech and mind both understood, like the sun, whose place is in space, just spread the seeing the nature way, appear in the world to destroy false doctrines. Drama is neither sudden nor gradual, delusion and awakening are slow and quick, but deluded people cannot comprehend this Dhamma door of seeing the nature. Although it is said in ten thousand ways, united, the principles return to one in the dark dwelling of defilements, always produce the sunlight of wisdom. The devil comes and affliction arrives. The right comes and affliction goes. The false and true were both cast aside. In clearly purity, the state of no residue is attained. Body is the original self-nature. Giving rise to a thought is wrong. The pure mind is without the false. Only the right is without the three obstructions. If people in the world practice the way, they are not hindered by anything. By constantly seeing their own transgressions, they are in accord with the way. Each kind of form has its own way, without hindering one another, leaving the way to seek another way to the end of life is not to see the way. A frantic passage through a life will bring regret when it comes to its end. Should you wish for a vision of the true way, right practice is the way. If you don't have a mind for the way, you walk in darkness blind to the way. If you truly walk the way, you are blind to the forms of the world. If you attend to others' forms, your form fighting itself is wrong. Others' forms I do not treat as wrong. My forms are my own transgressions. Simply cast out the mind that fights form. Once cast away, troubles are gone. When hate and love don't block the mind, shred out both legs and then lie down. If you hope and intend to transform others, you must perfect expedient means. Don't cause them to have doubts, and then their self-nature will appear. The Buddha Dharma is here in the world. Enlightenment is not apart from the world. To search for body apart from the world is like looking for a hair with horns. Right views are transcendental. Deviant views are all mundane. Devon and right completely destroyed. The body nature appears spontaneously. This verse is the sudden teaching, also called the Great Dharma Boat. Here in confusion pass through ages, in an instant space, enlightenment. Commentary with speech and mind both understood. Understanding speech is to know how to lecture on sutras and explain the Dharma. Understanding the mind refers to the mind crowd Dharma door of dhyana meditation. If you can lecture on sutras, speak Dharma and cultivate dhyana meditation, you are like the sun whose place is in space. You are like bright light which illuminates the world and yet is nowhere attached. Just spread the seeing the nature way, the Dharma door which the Sikh patriarch transmits teaches you to understand your mind and see your nature. Understand the mind and there are no difficulties. See your nature and there is no anxiety. When you see your original face, you understand the Buddha Dharma. Appear in the world to destroy false doctrines. This Dharma door exclusively speaks of transcendental principles and destroys all heretical non-Buddhist religions. Dharma is neither sudden nor gradual. Delusion and awakening are slow and quick. Essentially, the Dharma is neither sudden nor gradual. However, confused people must be taught to cultivate gradually while wise, enlightened people understand the sudden Dharma. 
If you are stupid, you become enlightened a little slower. If you are intelligent, you become enlightened a little faster. Today I will tell you the plain truth. Every day I lecture the sutras, but rarely do I speak plain truth. Today I say a little. Why? I can't speak much plain truth because you won't believe it. I say a little and you cannot believe it. So if I were to say more, you would believe it even less. That's because you don't like to hear the truth, nor do you like to actually cultivate. So I have no way to speak true drama for you. I have to wait. I wait for an opportunity, and now an opportunity presents itself because we have come to this verse, and the doctrine should be explained here. What is the sudden teaching? Sudden means cut it off. Cut what off? Cut off your sexual desire. Can you do it or not? You say. What's the use of that? Do you see? You don't believe. Very well. Then I will not talk about it. If I say more, you will disbelieve even more strongly. That's all there is to it. It's just this much. Cut off ignorance immediately. Ignorance is just sexual desire. Can you cut it off? Can you? You can't cut it off, and so you don't believe in the true drama. When you do cut it off, you will attain the sudden teaching. What is the gradual teaching? Slowly, slowly, you say. I can't cut it off all at once. How can I put it down? How can I let it go? The sudden becomes gradual. That's all there is to it. Do you get the point? I give intelligent people this little bit, and they cut it off. But stupid people can't put their desire down. I don't believe this is the true drama. They say, I don't believe this is the sudden teaching. That's why I have never spoken this way before. If you believed, you would have become a Buddha long ago. It's just because you don't believe that you are still wallowing in the mud, turning. In the six paths of rebirth, if you want to turn, turn. Nobody is forcing you to stop. It is a question of sooner or later. You may not want to cut it off now, but when you decide to become a Buddha, you will certainly have to cut it off. But stupid people cannot comprehend this dumber door of seeing the nature. The sudden teaching is the dumber door of seeing the nature. If you cut off a sexual desire, you can understand your mind and see your nature. Don't speak of this drama to stupid people; they cannot understand it and they won't believe it. Just as now, when I told you to cut it off and you couldn't do it, stupid people cannot comprehend; they cannot understand. If you tell them, they won't believe you. Although it is said in ten thousand ways. United, the principles of return to one. There are a thousand, ten thousand, millions of dharma doors used to explain this principle. There are a three, four thousand dharma doors to counteract just this kind of affliction, just the, that kind of ignorance. But when you trace them to the root, they are all just ones, just one. Just the sudden drama, which tells you to cut off ignorance immediately and manifest the drama nature, in the dark dwelling of defilements, always produce the sunlight of wisdom. Having affliction, you are in a dark room, but having wisdom, you are out in the dazzling sunlight. The demon comes and affliction arrives. The right comes and affliction goes. Today I will give you a little basic drama. If I never say it, you will never know. Devon refers to the arousing of sexual desire. Do not take it as happiness; it is an affliction. What is right is brighter wisdom. Genuine wisdom breaks through ignorance and casts out affliction. The false and true both cast aside. In clear purity, the state of no residue is attained. This is nirvana without residue. You say the verse says the false and true both cast aside. I ignore both of them. If you ignore them, you are still the dark dwelling. When you have transcended the devil and the right, then they have nows. 
Dairy is only right because there is dairy. There is only dairy because there is right. When neither one exists, that is clear purity, nirvana without residue. Body is the original self nature. Giving rise to a thought is wrong. Do not seek body outside yourself. The enlightenment nature is already complete within the primal wisdom of your self nature. Nevertheless, you still give rise to false thoughts. Originally, in clear and pure nirvana without residue, there is no thought, no recollection, and no falseness. It is complete in samadhi, morality, and wisdom. The pure mind is within the false. Only the right is without the three obstructions. The pure mind is within the false, like water in the eyes. The eyes has the potential to become water. In order to separate yourself from the three obstacles, you need only cultivate and uphold the right dharma. The three obstacles are the karma obstacle, that is, all the karma you have created in past lives and in the present one. The retribution obstacle, that is, your body which undergoes the obstructive effects of your karma, and the affliction obstacle, that is, all your troubles and worries. If people in the world practice the way, they are not hindered by anything. You can realize the way by success in any dharma door at all. But first, you must understand the true dharma. Then you can cultivate it, walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, with no obstacles whatsoever. By constantly seeing their own transgressions, they are in accord with the way. Mind your own busyness. Don't watch other people. Like a camera, which can only take pictures of what is outside, but can't take pictures of itself. You say that person is bad. He drinks, smokes, and takes drugs. No one can teach him. He steals. He kills. Just look at him. You talk nothing but big talk. You only criticize others. You never ask yourself, Did I kill today? Did I steal? Did I have devil thoughts of lust? Did I lie or drink? You never turn the light inward because you are too busy shining it outside. If you wish to practice the way, you should cultivate yourself and see your own faults. Then you will be in accord with the way. The sixth patriarch's verse is excellent. It is profound, deep, and of inexhaustible use. It is simple and clear. Anyone can understand it. If you can understand the meaning and memorize it. As well, it will greatly aid your cultivation. Each kind of form has its own way, without hinder one another. Everything which has a shape and an appearance is a kind of form. While dwelling in forms, you are able to wake up and understand to cut off desire and cast out love and be unattached to the forms. Then you will naturally possess the way. You need not look for it. Anywhere else, leaving the way to seek another way to the end of life is not to see the way. If you understand and are con- unconfused by forms, then there is no difficulty and no annoyance. But if you leave the way, saying this is not the way, I'm going to find another way, you are just adding a head on top of a head. If you see what happens and understand, you can transcend the world. If you see what happens and are confused, you fall beneath the will. If you become confused and give rise to view delusion, you fall into the dust of external states and objects, and to the end of your life, you will not see the way. A frantic passage through a life will bring regret when it comes to its end. Wishing for a vision of the true way, right practice is the way. When you arrive at the way, everything you do from morning to night is in accord with the drama. You do right and proper things, not devil things. If you leave your daily activities and look elsewhere for the way, your whole life will be suffering, and when you are old, you will have regrets. I have wasted my life. You will say, if only I hadn't drunk so much wine, I wouldn't be so stupid now. If only I hadn't gambled, I wouldn't be so poor. If someone had just told me 
I could have cultivated, but I never met a good knowing advisor. You met a good knowing advisor, but you didn't recognize him. His teaching passed by like the wind in one ear but out the other. You never reformed your, your own faults and you never re uh, corrected your bad habits. And so at the end, you have regrets. Cultivate properly. Do not criticize others and wash their clothes for them, saying, This person's clothes are filthy. I'd better wash them and look at him. He's jealous. He's afraid that others are going to be better than he is. This is called washing other people's clothes. If you don't have a mind for the way, you walk in darkness, blind to the way. If you only do things in darkness, if you only do things which you do not wish others to see, you are not practicing the way. If you truly walk the way, you are blind to the forms of the world. There are those who say the drama ending age is really bad. There is no more drama. Cultivators do not give proof to the fruit. Why don't you give proof to the fruit? The drama itself has no right, image, or ending age. If you cultivate the right drama, you live in the right drama age. If you do not see the forms of the world, but see all living beings as the Buddha, then you yourself are Buddha. If you see all living beings as demons, then you are a demon. If you attend to others' forms, your fault fighting itself is wrong. Does the Buddha look at other people's forms? No. The Buddha sees all living beings as Buddhas. Others' forms I do not read. I do not treat as wrong. My forms are my own transgressions. If he is wrong, do not follow his example. If he is wrong, do not join him and do not see his errors. Have great compassion for everyone. Be merciful. Say these living beings are indeed pitiful. I vow to take them all to Buddhahood. Simply cast out the mind that finds fault. Once cast away, troubles are gone. When hate and love don't block the mind, stretch out both legs and lie, lie down. I really love him, you say. I would gladly give up my life for him. This is all just emotion. If you truly had the compassionate heart to love and protect all beings, you would say, I vow to take him to Buddhahood. If he does not realize Buddhahood, I will not realize Buddhahood. Today, someone asked to formally become a Buddhist by taking refuge in the Triple Jewel, the Buddha, the Dharma, and Sangha. After taking refuge, you must follow the rules. Those who believe in the Buddha should not be as they were before. If there are, others will say, he is a Buddhist, but he still has his same old lifestyle. He hasn't changed. Therefore, I have made this vow. If those who have taken refuge with me do not realize Buddhahood, I will just wait here for them. You must realize Buddhahood before I do. I have no other method. If you take refuge, you should cultivate a little faster. Don't make me wait for you. I will wait a long time. But even truly, I may dislike it and say, I will wait no longer. I'm finished. This is it. Stretch out both legs and lie down. This appeals to lazy people. However, this is not laziness or sleep. It represents freedom. Unchained, unstruggled, unfettered, and free. You live upside down, dream thinking far behind, and attain ultimate nirvana. Do not interpret the Sikh Patriarch Sutra as saying that you should stretch out both legs and go to sleep. If you hope, and intend to transform others, you must perfect expedient means. To practice expedient means, one must know what dharma should be spoken to what living being, for that one must be unattached. Don't cause them to have doubts and then their self-nature will appear. Do not cause living beings who hear this dharma to disbelief, and you will then be able to use the brilliant wisdom of your nature. The Buddha Dharma is here in the world. Enlightenment is not apart from the world. The Buddha Dharma includes both mundane and transcendental Dharma. 
Buddha Dharma is in the midst of the world and yet transcends the world. There is no awakening and no prana wisdom apart from the world. To search for body apart from the world is like looking for a hare with horns. Do you think you can find a rabbit with horns? There is no such thing. If you separate yourself from worldly things to seek the transcendental drama elsewhere, that is like looking for a rabbit with horns. Right views are transcendental. Devin views are all mundane. Right views are enlightenment. To what is one enlightened? To the fact that sexual desire must be cut off. That is transcendental drama. Devin views are mundane views. When you casually follow your desires, yielding to them instead of causing them to yield to you, you are holding to Devin and mundane views. Devin and right completely destroyed. The body nature appears spontaneously. When neither the Devin nor the right remain, the body nature is spontaneously manifest. You need not look for the body nature anywhere else. This verse is the Satin teaching, also called the Great Dharma Bodh. This verse is the verse of Satin enlightenment and the Dharma door of realizing Buddhahood. It is called the Great Dharma Bodh because it can ferry all living beings from the shore of birth and death across the current of affliction to the other shore of Nirvana. Here in confusion, pass through ages, in an instant space, enlightenment. If you are deluded, many ages may pass before you become enlightened. If you are on the verge of enlightenment and can put down every one of your desires, you can suddenly become enlightened in the space of an instant. If you truly, truly understand, you can open enlightenment instantly. Sutra the master said further, in the Tafan temple, I have just now spoken the sudden teaching, making the universal vow that all living beings of the Dharma realm will see their nature and realize Buddhahood as they hear these words. Then among magistrate Wei and the officials, Taoists and lay people who heard what the master said, there were none who did not awaken. Together they made obeisance and exclaimed with delight, Good indeed! Who would have thought that in Lingnan a Buddha would appear in the world? Commentary After they heard the Maklis verse, they said, Ah, this is really fine! Who would have imagined that in Lingnan a Buddha would appear in the world?